Julian. Hi. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? Good. All right. <clears throat> Let's get through these as fast as we can. All right. Okay. We have to do two things on every problem. We have to answer whether it's a function or not, and we have to graph it, and then we have to answer these questions here. Right. So, where do we start graphing it? Um, the y-intercept? No. Always start, when you're dealing with a piecewise function, always start right there. You see where I'm pointing to? Yeah. That's x equal minus 2. Okay. Okay. Now, it says that x has to be less than minus 2. So I'm really dealing with that part of the graph. Okay. Okay. What does that graph look like? Is it a straight line? Is it a quadratic? Is it a parabola? What is it? Um, is it a straight line? Okay. Where is it at minus 2? It's right... Um, what do you mean, where is it like? What's f of x when x is minus 2? Analyzed from this point right here. Um, positive 5? Plug in minus 2 for x. Okay. So, is it... Plug in minus 2 for x into that right there. Oh, okay. So minus 2 plus 5. Huh? All right. So positive 3. Okay. So this point is on the graph, right? Yeah. Is it an open or a closed circle? Um, it's open. Because it has to be less than 2. Yeah. So it's open right there. Now what's the rest of that look like? Um, What's the slope on this line? The slope. Um, if I told you y equals x plus 5, what's the slope of that? 5? No. Oh, x? No. 1? There you go. The slope... <laughs> Remember, the standard format is y equal mx plus b. Yeah. m is the slope. Whatever okay. the coefficient of the x term is, that's the slope. Okay. okay. So I know this has a slope of plus 1. Well, I know yeah. how to draw that. Now. Let's go to the second part of the piecewise function, which is everything to the right of that point. Well, what is it at that point? Um, it's everything above negative 2. Just plug in minus 2 to this part of the function. Okay, so minus 2 times negative 2. Is what? Negative, positive 4, uh -huh. minus 1 is 3. Okay, so it's still at 3. Yeah. What's the slope on this? Um, it's 1 over no, 1. No, 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 look at this. What's m? Um, m is negative 2. Okay, that's the slope. Okay. So I'm going to start here with a closed dot. Okay. I'm at the same y value at 3, but this time it's a closed dot because it's greater than or equal to. Okay. And the only, the only thing I have to draw the rest of the line is the slope. Minus right. 2. There's a minus 2 slope. So that's what the function looks like. So, is this a function? Yes or no? 
Yeah. Okay. What is f of three? Um. So you plug in three for x. For which one? Which function do you use? You got a piecewise function. You got, um, this is everywhere left of minus two. This is everywhere to the right of minus two. Well, to the right of minus two. All right. So what do you get? So negative five. I got minus two times three minus one. Negative seven. Exactly. All right. What is f of minus four? <clears throat> so. Which one do you plug it into? The top one. Okay. What's f of minus four? All right. Um, minus four. Is it just positive one? Good. Finally, what is f of minus 2? Which function do you use? The top one. Uh -huh. The bottom one? Yeah, this says x is greater than or equal to minus 2. We use this one. Okay. It's only if it's less than minus 2 do we use this one. This right. says, what is f of minus 2? So when you plug in minus 2, we've already did that. What did we get? Um, oh, positive 3? Uh -huh. Okay. Let's do the next one. Hold on a moment. Once you learn how to do these, you're going to be able to do all of them. So okay. let's get you to a point where you know how to do each one of these. Okay. Graph it first. Where do I start? Uh, start at 2. Nope. Always look to the upper right on your piecewise functions. You want to start out on your x-axis, okay? All right. All right. So this tells you your key number is one. Oh, I was looking at number three. That's why. Right. Your key number is one. Okay. So let's figure out what happens when x is exactly one. Where does this begin? Um, it, it's at three. Okay. So it's closed dot or open dot? It's open. Nope. Closed. Greater than or equal to means closed. Oh, yeah. What's the slope on this line? Uh, two. Okay. Now let's look, go down one level and look at the lower right. X less than one, we've got this value. Well, according to this function, when X is equal to one, what would it be worth? Um, half. Plug in one for the into this function. What do you get? One half minus three. What is that number? Um. Uh. So one half. Is it just 1.5? Not 1.5. I have a number line. There's minus 3. And I want to move one half unit to the right. Where do I move to? Negative 1.5? Negative 2 and a half. Oh, uh, negative 2 and a half? This is negative 2. Half a unit to the right is negative 2 and a half. Oh, yeah. So one half minus three halves. Let's look at that algebraically. That's the same okay. as one half minus six halves. In other words, if I want to do it using a common denominator, 
Well, that's minus 5 halves, which is the same as minus 2 and a half. Okay. okay. So, on the bottom part of the function, I know that at 1, I'm at minus 2 and a half. Okay. Open or close dot? Um, it's open. Slope of this line? Um, one half. Good. One of, yep. That's all you need. You don't need Y intercept or anything. In other words, once we've figured out what that value is on the Y axis, the only thing we need is slope to draw the rest of the line. Yeah. Okay. So, that's our answer. Is that a function right. or not? Uh, yeah. What's f of minus 2? Um, f of minus 2 is... Which one do you use, top or bottom? <laughs> um, bottom. Okay, plug it in. So, minus 2 over 2. Okay is, um, I don't have no idea. You don't know what that is? No. Really? Oh, no. It's just negative one? Yeah. yeah. All right. And then minus three, is that negative four? Uh-huh. So okay. F of minus two equals negative four. Okay. What's f of 6? Which one do you use? Top one. What's that equal to? Um, 7. Plug in 6 for x and do the math. Uh, um, 13. And finally, what is f of 1? Which function do you use for f of 1? You use the top one. Okay, what is it? Um, three. That's all there is to any of these problems. All right. Okay. We got to keep going until you get it all on your own. Okay. Okay. Your mom said that it may be a half hour session, it may be an hour session. I'm going to let you determine that. Okay. I'll let you go as soon as you demonstrate that you know how to do these. Where do I begin this? Uh, two. Okay. <clears throat> What's the first okay. point I want to put down? The, the slope? Nope. Where do I begin? In other words, I know I begin when x is at 2. That's my key, yeah. that's my key separating line. Okay. okay. So if I'm looking for a point here, where, plug in 2. What's that equal to? Oh, okay, so 6. Okay. Is that open or closed right here? That is closed. Where's the rest of that line go? Um, it goes to the right or to the left? To the left. It's greater than two. Oh, greater that than that direction. All right. What's the slope on this line? Four over one. Okay, there's a slope of four. That's all I need is like that. Uh, Where does the bottom function begin? It begins at 2 over negative 2 over 3 plus 4. Okay. What is that, real quickly, without finding a common denominator? Uh, uh, I have no idea. 3 and a third. How did I get that? I started with four and I took away two thirds. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. 
since that's three and a third, that's where I begin. Okay. Go down to three and a third. Closed or open dot? Um, open. Slope on this line? Um, is it two over the weight? What would the coefficient be if I took it out? Um, when I'm looking at this, what's that the same as? If I want to make a coefficient in front of the x, what would it be? Would it be, um, I don't know. Minus a third. Minus a third? Yeah. Minus one third times x is the same okay. thing as minus x over 3. Um, okay. So the slope is what? Um, is it one third? Minus a third. It's always the entire coefficient in front of the x. All right. Okay. Minus a third goes which direction from here? To the left. Okay. Is it a 45 degree angle to the left, steeper or flatter? Um, it's steeper. No. Flatter. Less than one means flat. Okay. In other words, if one, there's negative one. Okay. okay. Greater than negative one, like negative two, would be like that. Negative okay. one half would be like that. This is negative one third. So it's relatively flat. And it doesn't matter if I'm drawing this properly exactly or not. Okay. The key is to know what the graph looks like in concept. In other words, I know that that should be a slope of plus four, and that should be a slope of minus a third. It's the only thing that matters, okay? Is this a function? Um, yes. What's f of minus four? Um, that would be the, the top equation. No, where's minus four lie in this realm? Um, below negative two? Below two? Yeah, maybe? to the left of two. Yeah. So it's the bottom equation. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, and I'll plug in minus four for x into the bottom equation. What do you get? All right, so minus four over 3. Don't forget that negative three. sign. Uh, minus 4 over it's negative 3. Minus a minus 4 over 3. Okay. Plus 4. Yeah. What is that equal to? That is um, 4 over 3. What's this equal to? That's just four thirds, right? Yeah. So what's four thirds plus four? Four and four thirds? No. Four thirds is one and a third plus and four. What's that? Four and one third. I mean, five and one third? Exactly. Five and one third. You could also say sixteen thirds. Okay. okay. Important part is just to get it right. Okay. okay. And what is f of eight? Which equation? Um, the top one. Okay. What is it? <clears throat> um, four times eight is. What's that? Thirty-two minus two. So thirty. And finally, what is f of 2? The top equation, right? Yeah, because the equal sign is on the top. Yeah. This one only applies when we're less than 2. If we're yeah. equal or greater than 2, we use this one. So what is that? All right, so 
is six. Uh -huh. Okay, this one we have three of them. All right. What are my, when you have three, you have two key points. What are they? Zero and five. Okay. So there's a key point there. There's a key point there. Starting from the top. To the right. left of zero, where am I going to place my first point? At... Mm, um, so it's negative zero plus four, so positive four. Good. Open or closed? Um, closed. Slope going which direction? Left. What's the slope? Uh, negative one. That's what that looks like. Okay. Now we'll go to the middle, which is everywhere in between zero and five. Right. Where am I going to begin here? So is x equal to 0 or 5? Yeah, yeah. Even though that says greater than 0, to figure out where to begin, you go ahead and plug in 0 for x. What do you get? Um, 2 thirds. No, plug in 0 for x into that. All right, so 2 times 0, which is 0. Uh -huh. Over three, Which is still zero. So, yeah, minus one. So negative one. Okay, so that's where we begin. Open or closed? Um, closed. Ah, it's greater than zero only. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, greater. Okay. So open. I'm gonna be open. If it was closed, it wouldn't be a function. Okay. Right? Because that means that at x equals 0, there would be two possible values for y. Well, that's yeah. not a function if that's the case. So most of these you're never going to have. They're all going to be functions. That's why they're called okay. piecewise functions. So until we see otherwise, I'm inclined to say yes for all of these. But it's a closed circle. What's the slope of and where do I go, right or left? Um, to the right. With what kind of slope? With a, um, two over three. Good. If this is a slope of one, is that flatter or steeper than that? It is flatter. Okay, good. We'll erase the one I drew. We'll draw starting from our starting point. A slope of two thirds. Right. When I end it, is it closed or open? Um, it is closed. Good. And to the right of five. <clears throat> so is it just a two? Uh huh. There's All right. Two. So. What's it look uh, like? What about at five? Where am I going to start this thing? With an open or a closed dot? With a open. And what's the line look like? What's the slope on this line? Um, it's five no. over one. How do you plot y equals two? Uh, you just... Uh, Horizontal line. Uh, okay. Slope of zero. Uh, Notice that in y equals mx plus b, if that's zero, then that whole thing disappears. Uh, so when you have a slope of zero, is all you have is y equal b. b is some number. In this case, it's going to be 2. Okay. So that's what the equation looks like. Is that a function or not? Yeah. What's y of minus 2? All right, so minus 2 is, is it the top equation? Yep. All right, so 
minus two plus four. Hold on. It's not minus two. It's minus a minus two. Uh, minus a don't, minus two. Don't make the most common mistake made, which is dropping <laughs> negative signs. When you see a okay. negative sign, write it. Write it like this. Minus and then X. X is minus two. Okay? Okay. Then you can't make a mistake. Don't try to yeah. do that whole step in one step. Okay. So it's positive six. Huh? Does that agree with the graph? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. If this is four, six would be up about here. Well, we're talking about when x is minus two, so we're talking about what's that value there. Six looks right. Okay. okay. What's f of zero? Which function do you use? Um. That would be the top one still. Okay. So, positive 4. Good. And finally, f of 5. The middle equation. Okay. What is it? So, 10 thirds minus 1. What is that number? First of all, the easiest way to do these, well, there's a couple of ways. You can find a common denominator. But it's actually pretty easy if you just turn that into a proper fraction. That's 3 and a third, right? Okay. What's 3 yeah. and a third minus 1? Um, 2 and a third? That's the easiest way to do it. Okay. I could also turn the 1 into a 3 thirds. I have a common denominator. That becomes 7 thirds. That's the same as 2 and a third. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Next page. Where do I start? What's my point on the x-axis that's the key point? Um, zero. Okay, where do I start to the left? In other words, when I say start to the left, I know that I'm going to find some point here, and the rest of it's going to go in that direction. Okay. okay, so let's find the starting point. Positive one. Good. Open or closed? Um... Closed. Slope? Uh, negative one. That's that kind of a slope. The lower part. Where does that start? Um, starts at negative four. Good. You're getting this. Open or closed? Um, open. Slope? Uh, negative four thirds. To the right or the left? To the right. Okay. I'm going to draw three lines here. I want you to tell me which one is negative four thirds. Okay. A, B, or C? C. Very good. What's f of minus 4? Which function do you use? Um, you use the bottom one. Look to the right to start. Uh, Which one do you uh, use? The top equation? Yeah, because we're talking about an x that's less than 0. Yeah. Okay, so when you plug in, what's f of minus 4 <laughs> equal to? Um, so 4, oh, negative 4 uh -huh. minus a negative 4. Okay, which is? Uh, positive 16. What is minus a negative 4 plus 1? 
Remember, we're using the top function. Is that five? Okay. What is, first of all, is this a function? Yes. Okay. So far, every one of them have been. What's yeah. f of zero, and which function do we use? Um, we use the top one. Okay. And it's just positive one. Good. And finally, what is f of three? Which function? The bottom equation. And what's it equal to? Um, four times three, negative four times three is negative 12 over three minus four. Okay, break that down. So, so far we got minus 12 over three minus four. Yeah. This is why it's really, really important to be able to add and subtract positive and negative numbers because you have to do it all the time. Okay. So this is a skill you want to perfect. You don't want to ever make a mistake when you're doing this. First of all, what's that okay. equal to? Um, negative 4 over 1. So what's minus 4 minus 4? Uh, I want to say negative 8. That's it. Turning into a addition problem. When you yeah. have minus 4, minus 4, this is the subtraction sign. Turn that subtraction sign into a plus, and the way you do it is by changing the sign on the number that was being subtracted. So okay. Minus 4 plus a minus 4, that's minus 8. Yeah, okay. okay. All right, let's go to... Number six. These are all the same. There's nothing different about any of them. So once you figure out the pattern of how to do them, you're done. Okay. Or what's the point on the x-axis that separates the two functions? Three. Always start from left to right, but Really, when I say start from left to right, what I really mean is start from the dividing point and go left for your first action. Okay, so what point? I know I'm going to start at x equal 3, but where do I start on the y-axis or the f of x-axis? Um, My first point. Negative 3? Correct, down here. So there's my first point. Is it closed or open? Um, it's closed. What's the line look like? What's its slope? Um, negative 3 over 1. No. When I say y equals negative 3, what's the slope of that line? Um, no slope. Zero. Not no. Zero. Right. What kind of slope is a zero slope line? The horizontal, it's vertical, horizontal. slanted? Horizontal. Okay. Like that. And I go to the left. Because I'm always yeah. starting at the midpoint, and the first thing I, I'm going to draw is always going to go to the left. The bottom okay. function is going to go to the right. Where do I start the bottom function? Um... At positive one. Closed or open dot? Uh, open. What's the slope on this line? Um, two. I'm going to draw three slopes. You tell me which one it is. All right. Top, middle, or bottom? Top. Okay. I didn't draw it quite steep enough. That's the way it should look like. Function or not? Yeah. What's f of minus 4? Um, 
<clears throat> so is it the top equation? Uh huh. So look at the graph. Okay. What's the f value over here at minus four? Um, is it just three? Uh huh. Uh -huh. What's f of zero? Um. Three. Good. And what is f of three? Is that three? Uh huh. Good. Very good. All right. Here it's the opposite. Here we're writing the equations given the graph. So. I'm going to say f of x is equal to something. What's my dividing point on the x-axis? Um, I don't know. It's the place where it breaks. Zero. Uh -huh. So over here, I'm going to say x less than zero. And down here, I'm going to say x greater than 0. Now, I can't tell exactly what's going on at 0, but we'll figure it out. What's this line? What's the slope on that line right there? Um, minus 1 over 1. Is that a minus slope? Yeah. No, that's a positive slope. Uh, this is a minus slope. Okay. okay. Lower left to upper right is positive. Okay. What is the slope? One. Okay. So what's the equation? Has a y. In other words, this is the standard. The y-intercept is zero. Yeah. Slope is one. What's the equation? Y equals x. Good. Okay, so I know that much. What's the slope of this part? Um, is it 2 over 1? Okay, what's its x-intercept or y-intercept? Uh, 0. And what's its equation? Um, 2 over 1. 2x, y equal 2x. Right. It's still y equal mx plus b. It's just that b is 0. So the equation of that line is y equal 2x. Now, right. we don't know whether this should be less than or equal or this should be greater than or equal. It could okay. be one or the other. Otherwise, we end up with a open dot there and an open dot there, and we end up with that, and that's not what they're showing us. They're showing us basically a closed dot there. So okay. We have two choices. We can either make this the equal sign or that the equal sign, and both are, either one is correct. In other words, that is just as correct as the other. Okay. And it's because it's equal to zero at both of these points. So I could say this line applies at zero or this line applies at zero. All right. All right. Let's look at number eight. How many pieces? Um... <clears throat> um, this is a piecewise function. How many pieces are there? Two. Okay. What's the dividing point? Negative two. So x less than negative two, open circle. Open yeah. circle down there. This must be x greater than negative two. There is no equal sign here. This is still a function, but it's not defined at negative 2. It's only okay. defined to the left of negative 2 and to the right of negative 2. 
So what's the equation of that line? What's the slope of that line? Um, Here's the equation. Okay. Here's the equation of the line that goes to the left. Okay. Well, okay. if we can figure out what the slope is, we can figure out where it would hit the y-axis if I were to continue it. Minus 1. No, continue this on. At the same slope, where would it hit the y-axis? At negative 5. Positive 5. Positive what five. is that slope? Um... So that's that slope. two over two. That slope is one, right? Yeah. So it's x plus 5 is the equation of the line. Even though it has to stop there and it never goes to the y-axis, the equation of the line doesn't change. In other words, if it were to go all the way to here, it would cross it at 5, and so I know that the b has to be plus 5. Okay. okay. So this part of the equation is x plus 5. What's the second part? Um, uh, x minus 2. No. What's the slope of the second part? 0. Well, if that's 0, that's 0. Okay. So we have y equal to b. What's the y-intercept of the second part? Um, negative 2. That's the equation of that line. Okay. Nine. How many parts do we have? Three. What are the dividing points? Uh, um, three, one, Hold on. and Hold on. Look at the x-axis. What are the dividing okay. points? Negative two. Hold on. X-axis. What's this point right here? Negative 1. Okay, so x less than negative 1. Actually, it's a closed circle, so it's less than or equal. What's the equation of this line? What's the slope of it? Um, 1. Where would it cross the y-axis if it were to continue? Um... I think at 4. Right here. What's this point right here? Uh, 2. Okay. So what's the equation of that line? Um, x plus 2. Good. Next point is x greater than negative 1 and less than what? Um... Less than on the x axis, where is this point? Uh, positive one. Okay. What's the slope of that line? One. What's the y intercept? Um, three. What's the equation of that piece of it? Three. X minus 1. I'll start with the slope times X. Alright, so 3. Uh -huh. The slope isn't 3, the slope is 1. Oh, the slope is 1, yeah. So 1 plus 3. 1X plus 3. 1X plus 3. Okay. And finally, the third piece, and, and I do this specifically because this is the way you should always look at piecewise functions. You should always analyze the right side first. Okay. Okay. What goes right here? Um, uh, 
Uh, is it a positive one? Greater than or less than? Um, greater than. X greater than one. Is it a closed dot or an open dot? Closed. Which means it's greater than or equal. What's the slope of this line? Um, it is 1. Okay. So my equation is what? Where would it cross the y-axis if I were to extend it all the way? At positive 1, so x plus 1. Okay. That's the way you do these. Got two more to do. Where's my dividing points? Um, two and negative two. Okay, so my top line should say what? My top right side of the line. Um, less than or equal to two. Negative two. I'm talking about this line right here. Always go from left to right, except when you put your first point on, it's always from right to left. So it's a little confusing. But what's the slope of this line? Uh, um, go from here to there. 3 over 1, negative 3 over 1. Negative or positive? Positive. Okay, so the slope is positive 3. Where would it cross the y-axis if I were to let it keep going? In other words, at, if I extend it all the way up to here. At probably 9 or something. Now well, let's see. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going up 3 for every 2 I go over, so i got to go up to 10. So it's 3x plus 10. Right. Okay. This is a little different than going the other direction. In other words, when they gave us a piecewise function and we evaluated it, we didn't really continue it on. We just evaluated that point right there. Okay. What's the next interval that I want to go from on the x-axis? Um, positive 2. Less than positive 2. Greater than what? Greater than negative 2. Now, what's the equation of that line? Negative 3 over 1. Nope. It's a horizontal line. Remember, horizontal lines are always y equals some number. What number? Um, zero? What's the y number right here? Uh, um, four. Okay, so it's y equal four. Remember, f of x is the same as y. Okay. So what we're saying is, is that f of x is equal to four whenever it's between minus two and two. Okay. Now we got the third part. How do I define it on the right? Um, positive 2 and negative 2. Define it on the right in the same way that these are being defined. Um, so x is greater than or equal to 2. All right. That's, that's all you need. That covers everything. In other words, we're covering when x is less than minus 2. We're covering when x is between minus 2 and plus 2. And now we're covering whenever x is greater than 2. Okay. What's this function? Looks like it's the same slope as this, only negative. So what would that be? Um... Also, also looks like if we extend it all the way back to the y-axis, it's going to 
intersect at the same point as this one did. So how can I define this equation of that line? Um, Remember that y equals mx plus b. So you said the slope was what? Three. Negative three. Negative the three. opposite of this one over here. Remember negative is upper left to lower right. So it's negative 3x, and what would its y-intercept be if we could see it? 4. Extend this line all the way up. Where would it, uh, where would it cross? 10. All right. One more to do. And you'll be done with the torture. <laughs> On the right side, where am I going to begin? Um, Start from left to right. That These are closed dots, incidentally. That's closed, that's closed, and that's closed. That is one. What's the interval on the x-axis for this part of the function? Uh, zero. Zero to what? Two. Okay. So x greater than 0, greater than or equal to, and less than 2. That's that little piece. What is it equal to there? What is y equal to? Um, y equals 1. Good. The second piece, how do I define it on the x-axis? Two to four. Give me the rest of it. Um, X is greater than or equal to two. Less than or equal to, to four. Just less than, not equal. That's an open circle right there. All right. That means it's less than four. What is the Y value there? Um, three. And finally, the last interval, this one right here. X is greater than or equal to 4, but less than 6. And what's the function value? 5. Very good. Think you got it? Yeah. I think you do, too. Cool. All right, good. I know it's been a year since you've had algebra, so this is all review for you. But nonetheless, you need to know this stuff. Uh, okay? All right, Julian, I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye.